Hi, my name is Mbarek and I am a motion designer from Morocco and this is my very first tutorial here on YouTube. In this video I am going to share with you three useful tips. So let's jump right in. The first tip is how to make a bouncing ball like this. This might sound a little bit cliche since there is a lot of tutorials that show you how to do this kind of animation but the catch here is how to make it with less keyframes. As you can see I only have like 5 keyframes, yeah 5. So how do we do this? easy so first of all we are going to create a circle okay and then we're gonna click P on the keyboard select the position property separate dimensions and animate the Y position so basically we're gonna animate the ball drop okay here is the ball being dropped we're gonna ease the first keyframe and we are going to need this expression the bounce back expression by then um, and then we're gonna hold alt and click the stopwatch and then paste it and we are going to modify the gravity to 9000 and then we have something like this perfect the second thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a keyframe to the for the X position and select the Y position and go to the graph editor and then we are going to click this button show post expression graph and we're gonna hide the show graph set okay um, what this show post expression graph does is it generates a graph based on the expression that we have on the y expression on the y position property so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end of this graph okay and we are going to animate the x position like this okay and voila we have a bouncing ball and to make it more smooth we are going to add a, a slight animation at the end to help with the overall uh, logic of the animation so there we go that is the first step second tip is how to have a consistent stroke size all over your animation like like this because as you can see here we have the stroke the stroke is being squished so it's not cool it is not good to look at but instead we want something like this we have we want something that is consistent so how to do it so basically i'm gonna duplicate this one this layer here and we go inside the contents and what what we are going to do is we are going to group this rectangle pad right and then we are going to delete the initial scale expression that we have created before I'm gonna delete this okay and now we're gonna have to reanimate it inside this transform group so like this see now we have a consistent stroke size throughout the whole animation with no problems perfect now the tip number three and the last one so how can we do this a lot quicker and with less keyframes as you can see the first example here I have a I have a man I have a path that is controlled by a mask and I can modify it I can do whatever I want and it only has four keyframes and in one layer 
but the other example it has two layers and a lot of keyframes and it is not practical because let's say for example I want to modify the path okay and then again I'm gonna have to modify the position of the circle which is not practical I want something that is you know completely automated so how to do this basically we are going to need a script a actually a uh, preset that is called pet arrow by cinema spice so this preset when you double click it it generates a path with an arrow like with a triangle at the tip so basically we are going to just modify it as you can see the triangle here it's a sample so we're gonna modify that sample into a point okay basically a circle so first of all we are going to reduce the thick the line thickness okay and we are going to go to the character tab and change this to 200 maybe okay 200 that's cool and we are going to put in here minus oh shit that's a lot sorry i'm just gonna try to drag change the position until i see the tip of the uh, of the arrow next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna double click the layer because it's just a text layer and i'm gonna keep clicking on the right arrow until you see the selector underneath the triangle and then i'm gonna hold shift and left arrow to select the triangle and click points basically change the symbol the triangle symbol into a point okay and then we have something like this and we're gonna repeat the same process again we're gonna click the uh, right arrow on the keyboard until it's down uh, actually it's until it's underneath the uh, symbol and then click shift and left to select it and we are going to change the font into something that has a circular point not a square one okay and finally we are going to change the head the x and y head size we're gonna put in for example 700 uh, 700 great and now we are just going to modify this into the default value which is 2 minus 250 and bring this into the center of the composition which is yeah now we are we have like a path with a uh, circular tip so now if we animate it it is completely automated and for example if you want to add a path if you want to have like a special uh, path all you have to do is just create it with a mask for example I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna select the same layer go to the text property and go to the path option and select mask and now we have something like this so the last thing is you have to do is to just animate the uh, the length of the stroke or of the path there we go easy and this is my last tip